dude. Um, first off, I'd like to send my condolences to Mike Rotunda, better known as IRS. My condolences to Taylor Rotunda, better known as Bo Dallas. And my condolences to Jojo Offerman, Samantha, the mothers of Bray Wyatt's children, and the rest of Bray Wyatt's family during this hard time. And i also like to send my condolences to Terry Funk's family as well. It's just been a, it's been a mad week for wrestling. And, um, man, dude, I just, I'm still in shock. I cannot believe that we lost Bray Wyatt this past week. It's just, uh, I, yeah, it's still hard for me. Um, I, I never even met this guy, but just, you know, I've seen this guy in person many times and actually getting to witness his work and craft, like from promos to him having matches you know, I just saw this guy seven months ago at the Royal Rumble, and now he's, go- you know, gone. And it's just like, it's crazy, man. I was really expecting <sighs> so much, you know, you know, I was just expecting so much, you know, him returning probably and pretty soon. And this Uncle Howdy, you know, uh, storyline to you see what comes from it and stuff and just crazy we'll never get the culmination of that but bro like this dude was my guy bro like my youtube channel like majority of it is bray wyatt like even from 2017 like i post a clip of me enjoying his entrance or when he's you know when they came out to sacramento for that Monday night raw that was my first ever Monday night raw and he um What's it called? You know, he came out and interrupted Kurt Angle and fucking, you know, at the main event, it was Seth Rollins versus Miz versus, I believe, Finn Balor. And Bray came out and fucking, uh, I, I, I believe he attacked Finn Balor and stuff. And it just, oh, man, it was uh, the best moments of my life. And yeah, dude, this was my guy, bro. You know, everybody says he was so creative. He really was. I bought merch from him, like like the Fiend mask and everything. And speaking of the Fiend, man, like I wasn't like, I hate to go into my personal life, but in 2019, I lost my father and I wasn't really watching much wrestling at the time. I took a break from it for a few years. I just, everybody looked the same to me they were kind of built like me skinny dude you know I just nobody had a character like that and and before Bray took time off um after WrestleMania 34 uh I I I believe he um he was with Matt Hardy and stuff and you know when he came back um I was I would go to my friend's house after uh not after school, like, I would go to my friend's house after work, because we worked together, and I remember Bray used to have these, uh, well, he had these fun, Firefly Funhouse episode things, like, a, he was a Mr. Rogers character, it was hilarious to me, and, uh, I remember the episode he debuted, uh, or his little segment, he debuted The Fiend, and at first, when I seen it, I was like, what the fuck, he looked like the Joker, and then, but I got captivated by it, and it, Ever, and then it started to make me watch wrestling again. And during that year, 2019, it was so hard for me, you know, going through the loss of my pops. And, you know, it even, like, when they came out here, and I I was like, oh, I'm going to get tickets to Hell in a Cell 2019. Like, the the whole Fiend thing looked so cool to me. I was like, oh, I got I to gotta go. Like, the SummerSlam match with Finn Balor, I was like, I got I to gotta go there. And, bro, like, yeah, I... We went, you know, how that hell in the cell went and stuff. But, you know, this guy literally, like him creating that character, it captivated me so much. It made me realize, like, wrestling was always there for me when, you know, the hard times, you know. And I'm forever, I forever cherish Bray Wyatt for that, man. Like, he really brought me back into wrestling, bro. Like, like, I just, I cannot believe he's gone. I, I don't, I, when I seen the news two days, three days ago, I, I just, I, man, I, I just, I look at how I'm talking right now. I, I just, I thought it was a bad dream. I thought it was a nightmare and stuff, man. And he's going to be missed. He's going to be so missed, man. I mean, I, I, like I said, I just saw this guy in January. I, and if I would have known that was his last 
ever match, televised match, I, I would have enjoyed, I would have cherished it a lot more and stuff. And man, dude, it's just going to be crazy not seeing Ray on our screens anymore. I mean, seeing the tribute uh, on Friday, uh, SmackDown, you know, it just, it's, oh my God, you know, I, I get choked up about it. I don't cry over most celebrities deaths and stuff and this one just hit different for me it's just he's so young and everything and I just oh my god I felt so bad I feel so bad for his family because I, I know I personally would know, I know what that void is gonna feel like for his children and everything and I just oh man my prayers and condolences and uh yeah man Bray Wyatt was a Freak fucking talent, bro. There's no way like him. This is a pro Bray Wyatt channel. It always has been and always will be. Um, I'm so glad he got that moment with The Undertaker. Um, I Just that moment when he came back from Extreme Rules. I, you know, I have a YouTube channel. And I, I, the moments like that where I recorded it, it's just like now knowing that he passed away. I'm just like, wow, that's something I could look back at and just remember and stuff. And, uh, man, dude, I just, this loss hurts, man. This loss hurts. Like I said, I never met the guy, like, handshake-wise. But, you know, I've seen him in person many times. And, you know, I just, he touched me from the screens. And I'm going to miss him. I'm going I'm to miss him a lot. He was such a talent. And... Just hearing all these stories from the other wrestlers and people that knew him personally is just, um, you could just tell or get a sense that he was a really good dude. And fuck, this guy had the most, he had a wicked ass laugh. Like his laugh is hilarious. And, ah, oh man, I'm a, yeah. It's just, it's hard for me to even make this video. It's the hardest video I ever made. Hardest thing. But I felt like I had to because, you know, this guy was literally, like, my whole channel. Like, literally, even before he came back, like, you know, I would make a little video about him trademarking wide six. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm excited to see him go to, you know, what if he's going to AEW or some shit, you know? Like, and I just, you never knew what he had planned and just so many memories of him. I mean, I, I was just watching, I was actually, the the same day he passed, I was just, I had a dumbass thought, like, who would I invite to a cookout? You know, because I'm a black guy, you know? I'm just like, who would I invite to a black cookout? And I'm like, Bray Wyatt. That was the first name I thought of. And then I thought of Jeff Hardy. And then I thought of, like, Tony Hawk and shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, those are motherfuckers I invite to the cookout. And, you know what I'm saying? Just stupid-ass thought while I'm at work and everything. And then, like, a few hours later, I'm hearing that he passed away. So it's like, you know, it's, uh... This is crazy, man. I, ah, man, it will never be a Bray Wyatt. There will never be another Bray Wyatt, and I'm I'm glad at least he's rekindled with. And I know he lost one of his two of his best friends over the past year. Um, it was Brody Lee, uh, and the better known or it was Luke Harper or John Huber. That's his name, and I know he lost one friend, and. It's just, oh my gosh, such a cool dude, such a captivating guy. I mean, I bought a Fiend mask. Um, I put fake, I put my face on some of the Bray Wyatt filters back there. Like, this guy was my guy. Like, it was always Edge, Bray Wyatt. Like, those guys are my dudes. I've been captivated by them but the most. And I, I Bray Wyatt is just, you know, he's a legend, man. And I hope he goes into the Hall of Fame. Next year at the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania, he deserves it. And um, yeah, man, I, I, you know, sometimes with death, man, we just we have a time, you know, and it's we have a how can I put it? Like we don't know when we're gonna go, and you gotta take life, you know, you gotta take life day by day and really appreciate it because you really don't know when it's your time, and you know, I, it's just you. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy that he's not gonna be here with us 
you know, anymore. But you know what? Moments like this where we could talk about memories and stuff, that's what counts, you know. And just keeping his memory alive, watching these matches that he had and everything. And, you know, I, I just, it's a devastating loss for the wrestling and just period, you know. And uh, it's hard for me to even speak, you know, unless feel like this happens. And, man, I'm going to miss Bray Wyatt, bro. He was a, you know, just a hell of a talent. And I was looking so for I was looking forward to him coming back. But, you know, he's in a better place now. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. We're going to miss you, bro. I'm gutted. I'm heartbroken by it. But, like I said, I know he's in a better place now. And, uh, yeah, man, just so many memories just thinking about, like, all the times, like, before when he got released, which was fucking bullshit. But, you know, when he got released and stuff, and I, I used to, you know, just think of, just wonder what he's doing next and stuff. And I see him doing signings in the UK and stuff, or... I would go on watch like people doing WWE 2K, you know, storyline reenact or not reenactments, but like making up their own storylines and stuff. And there was one uh, I can't think of the YouTube channel, and but he made something where he Bray, if Bray Wyatt joined AEW, and it was like it was the coolest thing. He came out as like his last name Rotunda, and I just it just Bray Wyatt was such a captivating guy, man. I'm just. I'm fucking gutted, bro. I'm fucking gutted. I'm in shock still, and it's just crazy, man. But you know what? Uh, he would want us to continue to enjoy wrestling, and he wouldn't want us to sit here and be sad. You know, it is hard not to because it's so fresh, and it's going to take a fucking long time to get... You're never going to get over it, but it's going to take a long time to, you know, just realize that this guy is gone, you know, and... Yeah, man, I'm I'm gonna miss Bray Wyatt, bro. It's gonna be crazy just to never hear that theme go through on a live Raw or SmackDown or pay per view ever again. And man, just my condolences to his family and everyone that knew him and loved him. And yeah, man, I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, we're gonna miss you, Bray. And uh, man, I hope you're still wrestling up there, bro. Uh. Man, it's gonna we go we go all gonna get through this though, man. Like you know, he he would want us to, and uh, I just I thank you, Bray, for everything that you've given to wrestling. I wish wrestling would have gave you the same effort that you gave it. Always thinking you were always thinking about something new. And, yeah, I've said it a million times here, but I'm going to miss you, man. You were my guy. <laughs> Bray Wyatt was my fucking guy, man. <laughs> Literally, like, he was my fucking guy. And, uh, yeah, that's the sucky thing about death, man. It's so final. But I know he's in a better place, man. I know he's looking down on all of us. I know he's looking down on his family. And his family's going to be taken care of. His kids are going to be able to go to college and everything, man. They're going to, you know, it gets better over time, man. And Yeah, it's just wrestling would never be the same without you, Bray. Uh, gosh, man, I'm, I'm going to miss you, man. I'm going to fucking miss you, bro. If I ain't said it a million times, I'm going to fucking miss you, Bray Wyatt. Wyndham Rotunda, I'm going to fucking miss you, bro. You're a fucking legend. And, uh, yeah, this channel will always be a pro Bray Wyatt channel. And I'm going to keep doing my thing and keep sharing your uh, spirit, sharing your legacy with my kid, future kids or whatever, man. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Your lantern will always stay lit.